Hi, in this video I will show you how to place a custom graphic or a custom vector above your heading or a title using Elementor and CSS, something that looks like this. Let's get started. I will open my Elementor page and I will use the heading widget. In my case, I'm using the HTML tag H2, which means heading 2, and I will go to the advanced panel. I'm using Elementor Pro, so in this case, I have the custom CSS field enabled. If you are using a free version, I will show you how to achieve the same effect in the second part of this video. In this case, I will open my custom CSS field, and let's say that I have some vector graphic that I want to add above my heading here. Now, you can also, uh, you can achieve this in many ways, uh, the way that I will be using, which I find uh, simple and uh, without the need to create extra widgets or place, uh, place this graphic as an image, is using uh, before pseudo elements. So in my CSS code, I will start by typing selector and then h2 because I'm using heading 2. If you're using heading 4, it will be h4 and so on. Then I will define my before pseudo element. So I will type before. And first we need to define the content. Now the content in this case will be empty. And the reason for this is that we are not using any letter, number, any symbol. We are using a custom graphic or a custom image, or it can be a vector file, it can be a photo and so on. Uh, and at the same time, it is not a simple line, which we would make as a border. So in this case, we are setting the content as uh, blank and how we will achieve the custom image is basically using a background image. So I will type here background image and URL. Now I have to basically upload my image file, which can be uh, a JPEG, PNG, it can be SVG or a vector file. And I will go to my media library and find that file. In my case, I'm using a SVG file, so I will open it. This is my wavy line that I want to use, and I will just copy this file URL. So I will clip, click on copy URL to clipboard. Now I will go back to my page, and here in my URL, I will place this, uh, this address, basically this link to my image. So I will just paste it. Now you can see that nothing is showing up still. Uh, this is because we need to define a few more values here. So first of all, I need to type position absolute. Next thing is that I need to define the width and the height of my image. So let's say that I want to put uh, the width to something like, uh, let's say 80 pixels. We can change this later. And the height to something like 25 pixels. Now you can see that it's already showing up. Let's just move it a little bit so that we can see and position it correctly. In order to put, in order to position it correctly, in order to change the position of our graphic, I will use top and left parameters. So top, I will set to something like minus 30 pixels and the left, I will set, I can actually leave it as it is, but I want it just slightly moved, shifted to the left side. So I will set something like minus 20 pixels. Now, first thing that uh, you can see is that this pattern is repeating and I want it to be uh, basically placed just once. The reason that it is repeated is because we place this image as a background. And in backgrounds, if you don't set it to no repeat, it will basically just duplicate that image as much as uh, needed in order to fit the container where it is placed. So I will go to this code and I will type background repeat and I will type no repeat. You can now see that it's uh, showing up only once. Now there are a few more things that we need to specify here. If I change my width to let's say something like 60, you can see that it is basically this graphic is being cut off. Now there are ways to achieve this, if you know the, the exact size of your graphic, you can simply set those parameters here and you will be okay. But I will set this a little bit more in a flexible way. So what I want to do is that I want this image to fit into this container that I defined here, which is 60 pixels by 25 pixels. And how I will achieve that is by setting background size to, in my case, contain. 
Now what Contain does is that it fits this background image to the height of the container. So whichever height I set here, for example, 15, it will reduce the size of the, of the image to fit that height. If I set it to something like 35, it will increase it accordingly. So I will set the background size to contain. And the last thing that I can also do is to put background position and to set it to center and center. This will basically just center my image in the container. So this is it. This, this is how you can achieve a custom graphic or a custom vector or a custom image above your headings without the need to use an extra widget and to make your page uh, more heavy. So we are using before pseudo elements and now if you're using a free version, you can do the same thing uh, just using a plugin where you can insert your CSS code. So I will just copy this code somewhere. Let me just copy it and remove it from here. Now I will show you how to achieve this in a free version. In this case, you won't have this custom CSS field. So what you want to do is go to the layout tab and the CSS classes here, we can leave it blank. Let's assume that we have our heading, which is H2 in this case. And let's say that I want to apply this graphic on all of my H2 headings on my web page. Now here is where CSS comes really in hand, uh, really handy. And how we'll do this is that I will simply go to my CSS code and I'm using a custom CSS and JavaScript plugin, plugin which you can find in the description. And then I will define uh, my H2 heading here with the before pseudo element. So let's say that I have the code that I copied that I used before and I will use the same code. I will just remove the selector um, tag the selector part that we used uh, just a few minutes before. So I will type h2 and then I will define my before pseudo element here. Uh, you can also, you don't have to use h2, you can use, you can basically also define your custom CSS class here. So let's say that I want to, I want to call this heading, um, give it a class, let's say wavy heading. I can type it here and then instead of h2, I can simply use wavy heading class. Let's click on update and let's see what this does to our page. If I click on update here and preview my changes, refresh it, and you can see that it applies the same graphic on my H2 heading. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.